What's up everybody, Vince Ingenito here for IGN, and right now, I am rewinding, for your viewing pleasure, the latest character reveal trailer for Street Fighter V, and it's none other than the man in the mask, the Spanish ninja, Vega, and he's looking as pretty as ever. There's actually a lot to unpack here. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Already getting to the good stuff. There's a lot to unpack here. It's a short trailer, but there's a lot of stuff here uh, for us to go into. And there's uh, and there's a few things here in this very first little combo. So, so if we get right into it. Uh, so, here's, here's a jump in attack. This is... Uh, you know, we've seen this before. Again, like, almost, uh, almost all the character reveal trailers have opened up with a frame... Of animation or move that is very common to the character. Um, this looks pretty much uh, like like Vega's jump in uh, fierce. I mean, it's jump in fierce or jump in strong. Uh, I haven't played Vega in a while in Street Fighter Four, but uh, but but this is definitely a familiar uh, normal uh, jumping normal for uh, for Vega players out there. So just again a cool thing. I've no I've made note of this in several other rewinds. I just really like how they uh, you know they've definitely taken a new uh, a new approach to the art direction, but I like how they bring in familiar animations and moves like this because in these little subtle ways they make them still feel familiar. But all that familiarity is about to go out right out the window. So let's see, he lands. And we've got a uh, uh, what looks like the first hit of maybe a close uh, close. Oh, there's, there's no close uh, no close normals or far normals in Street Fighter Five. But this looks like a stand fierce. Um, and then after one hit of that, he spins. And where is the claw? If you look carefully, right there, it is on his uh, his hip now. Vega um, can actually switch between fighting with the claw and without the claw. And uh, this makes him the first character in Street Fighter V to have a stance switch uh, mechanic. Of course, there's been characters uh, in other Street Fighters, like Gen, um, who have a mechanic like that. But uh, this makes him the first character of that type in Street Fighter V. And what's very interesting here is that he does it mid-combo uh, and keeps this combo going. So right there, the stand fierce, I think that is. And then he switches stances and then continues his combo. Um, and that's one of the things... I really think that's smart because... Uh, what what often happens with stance switch characters in a lot of fighting games is uh, it ends up being a thing where you have to score a knockdown and then instead of getting the Oki pressure afterwards, the Okazemi, um, and following up that knockdown, you end up having to stand there and switch stances when when you really want to be on top of your uh, opponent. Uh, looks like Vega's not going to have that problem. He's going to be able to switch stances mid combo um, and and continue the combo and uh, one fluid, just constant flow of offense. Let's see it all in full speed. They see one huge, uh, one long combo. Um, another thing to note there about the, and they just see at the end of the combo, um, is that he does another little turn um, right there, and then a slash. That sends uh, that 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 sends the Cali there uh, flying. That is actually uh, this is actually his V skill. Yeah, this is his V skill. It's called Matador Turn, and uh, that spin where he's spinning, he's actually hit and vulnerable. We will see that later, uh, and we'll discuss that a little bit more as we go. But let's uh, let's continue on and see what else we see. Okay, so here we see like a a pretty standard uh, link. For uh, for Vega, if you play Vega, this is uh, this is something you probably do now. I don't know if it's considered optimal or ideal, but but uh, yeah, we've got the what looks like a, a crouch jab into a crouch jab into a crouch strong, most likely is uh, is what that is, or crouch light punch, crouch light punch, and then crouch medium punch. For those of you not up on, on normal Street Fighter Five, uh, normal Street Fighter move nomenclature, um, again at uh, at full speed. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and there's that. Uh, there's that. Just to show you again, there again is the uh, there again is the is the Matador turn. Uh, and the subsequent uh, subsequent attack. And what's interesting about this is that it looks like he's canceling out of a normal. Uh, so it's like he hits with what looks like probably a stand roundhouse or a command normal of some kind, and then cancels it with the. Uh, so much like Nikali was able to do, um, Nikali was the first character we really saw doing this in in his reveal trailer. Uh, it looks like Vega can use his actual V skill. As a uh, as a as an actual move that you can use in combos uh, and as a as a general purpose attack. Um, so all right, so moving uh, moving along. 
There's the Stan Fierce again. Okay, and whoa. Okay, that's the game changer right there. You might have missed it. Um, I know this would be pretty easy to miss because of this camera cut that gets made here. Let's watch it again at full speed, and I'll show you what I mean. So this camera cut is kind of quick. There's a slow-mo, and then, and then it comes in. It's kind of easy to miss, but I'm going to show it to you. So, of course, uh, Vega, known for his wall dive. Uh, it was terribly annoying in uh, Super Street Fighter 2, and... Um, you know, it's it's constantly been one of his uh, one of his really strong offensive uh, moves. You know, very uh, very unsafe, but uh, always kind of confusing to deal with. But the thing is, is that even though it's unsafe, he never really got anything off it. You'd hit someone with it, and uh, and that would kind of be it. Um, and that doesn't look like the case here anymore. So we can see here, um, Nikali is has been hit. He's reeling. He's reeling. He's reeling. Still reeling. Vega is now clearly on the ground. This is where that, that camera cut happens, where you think maybe they did some editing magic, but this is the same frame. See this? This is the same frame, guys. So so now Vega, his feet clearly on the ground, and Nikali has not recovered out of the hit stun yet, and bam. Vega can combo off of, off of a, a wall dive hit. A wall dive hit gets him something other than a little bit of damage and then, you know, kind of like an awkward, weird situation. Um, and that's just terrific. Uh, this is going to make the character a lot more legitimately dangerous, and it's going to make um, make this move, make the wall dive more rewarding because it's always been a little bit risky. You know, if someone reads it properly, they can do a lot of things about it. Um, and you didn't know it was necessarily get a huge reward out of it. It was really mostly something to do over and over again if your opponent just happened to not know the matchup and not know what to do about it. But here, you see he gets a full combo off of it. And uh, there, actually, what we saw at the end there um, was the uh, was his role. And this is, uh, again, another another Vega. This is a Vega staple. The, uh, the rolling, God, what is it called? The rolling crystal flash. Crystal Flash, rolling something. I keep forgetting the name of this move. I used to play this character, and I don't remember the name of the move. That's pretty sad. But yeah, he does the roll, and uh, and instead of a big slash, he ends it with a kick. Now, that could be because you can see there again, his claw is on his hip, and so maybe when uh, the claw is on his hip, he, uh, you know, we do know that from uh, reading what, uh, what Capcom said in their blog post, uh, we do know that some of the moves get different properties at uh, when you have the claw on or off. So maybe this is just how the rolling uh, the roll looks, uh, how it finishes when you have the claw off. So moving on, all right. So let's let's look again here. We have very significantly. This is a command grab, and uh, we know from again from the blog post that Vega only gains this command grab when he uh, does not have the claw equipped. So, so this is a new tool that that uh, Vega gets access to when he doesn't have the claw on. And this is a, another. This is probably the the greatest of all the things we've seen so far. This is probably the biggest incentive I would say to take the claw off. Uh, a nice, powerful command grab uh, definitely uh, kind of widens Vega's uh, mix-up options. Uh, so that's really cool. And this is just a really cool looking command grab. This is the EX version. I don't know if it'll have such a dramatic camera uh, effect for the non EX version, but let's watch it again in full speed because it looks rad. Bam, yo! And then right after that, we have something very significant. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go in full speed, see if you catch it, and then we're gonna slow it up again. Okay. So in case you missed it, right after that command grab, what we are seeing is I'm gonna go by frame by frame. And here we go. Okay, so you see Nikali is coming in with some kind of an attack, uh, and there you go. There's the Matador turn right there. That's again his V skill, and that's the Matador turn uh, going right through uh, Nikali's attack. Now we also know that Vega, much like uh, much like Bison has the option to absorb a projectile with his V skill and then not throw it back at someone. Uh, Vega 2, we know, has the option to dodge with uh, with the Matador turn and then not do the automatic follow-up. Um, 
So yeah, I think this is really significant because this what this is, I mean, Vega is already a good footsie character. His walk speed has always been good. It's hard to tell if his walk speed is good uh, from this video, but his walk speed has always been good, and his pokes, especially with his claw on, obviously, uh, are fast and have nice range. But... The nice thing about this Matador turn is that it gives him kind of a counter footsie tool. Like if, if you're consistently getting beat by someone else's normal and you're just at a loss for how to deal with it, maybe your claw is off. Because by the way, if your claw gets knocked off in Street Fighter V as Vega, you will not be able to pick it back up. That's not something we see really here in the video. But he will not be able to pick it back up. So fighting with the claw off is almost an inevitability. If you get hit too much, you're just going to lose it and you're going to have to fight without it. So in those cases, you may find yourself, well, normally my game plan is to poke, 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 and just dance around my opponent and outrange them and outpoke them. But if you lose the claw, you might not be able to. This Matador turn, I think, looks like a great possible uh, tool to use at neutral if you find that someone is outpoking you, either because they're just, they've got a better button or their footsie game is just stronger than yours, or you lose your claw and you don't have the same range. This is a way that you can... Uh, that you can get out of the way. It also, as it turns out, uh, I think will be a great way to punish certain moves that probably ordinarily wouldn't be uh, punishable on block. You know, so a move that might recover too quickly for you to punish on block, if you can be very predictive and make a good read and know that your opponent's going to come through with it, instead of blocking it, maybe you can opt instead to do the Matador turn and uh, and get a, at least a knockdown out of it and then a, a situation after that. So, yeah, let's watch it again at full speed and uh, and then move on with uh, with this rewind. Bam. All right, cool. So, yeah, there's the EX version of the roll. Um, so let's, let's slow down for a second. We saw the EX uh, version of the roll. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I don't really know what this move is. Uh, and we're seeing an EX version of it. So it looks like maybe uh, Vega might have a new um, might have a new special involving uh, involving the claw. Uh, that doesn't look like any move that I've ever seen Vega have before. Um, although I haven't played Vega in every single version of Street Fighter. So maybe it's a returning move. Uh, apologies for not knowing that. But this looks like an all new uh, multi-hitting uh, multi-hitting move that, that gets a that scores a knockdown, which is nice. Nice just to have something. Uh, I'm hoping it's a command move. You know, his uh, his roll, the crystal, the the whatever. The, ugh, God, I'm the worst. You know, his his rolling attack has traditionally been a, a a charge move. So if it remains a charge move, it'll be nice for him to have this kind of command attack to use as a way to you know kind of easily and quickly confirm off of say a crouch forward, which looks like that's what that is—a crouch forward there. So you know you're using a crouch forward and footsies as one sometimes does, and then having something that you can just cancel into if you uh, and confirm with if you if you get the hit is nice, and that's not always easy. That hasn't always been easy with Vega when you're walking forward. If you're walking forward, again, you you, you know, you, you poke someone, you outpoke them, you don't necessarily get anything off of it like, say, Ryu can, but now it looks like uh, uh, Vega hopefully will be able to as well if that is indeed a command move. Um, so again, let's just uh, let's just let it go at, uh, at full speed here because it does look pretty cool, and especially when you slow some of this stuff down, just the animation style of this character... Um, He's got such flair. Uh, I mean, he always has, but he just looks like such an acrobat, so graceful and so badass. Yeah. Okay, so here we see an EX version of, uh, and there's another perfect example of that, of that just beautiful animation and something else very important here. So we see we've got two things. So for one, we see that the EX version of his wall dive hits on the way up and and floats the opponent. This is common. This is uh this is how things how the EX version of the wall dive worked in Street Fighter 4. So that's uh that's good to know. So what's interesting here though is uh the uh the wall dive attack uh seems to push them up farther and allow for juggle continuations. So that's really significant. Um again, another situation about how uh of how you know, Vega will be able to get more out of every hit than he could in previous uh, Street Fighter games, which has always kind of been a problem for Vega, is that, like, you feel like you're doing all this work to outplay your opponent and get hits, and you don't always necessarily feel like you have the opportunity to get the most out of those opportunities the way some other characters do. It looks like Vega's going to change that uh, in Street Fighter V. But here 
We have that watercolor swirl, and uh, clearly we see this is uh, this is his V trigger, and this is the most unique V trigger I think that we've seen so far. Let's let it play in full speed once real uh, real quick here, and then we'll slow it down and show what it is. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, this is his V trigger, and it's called Bloody Kiss, and basically what he does is. Um, he throws a rose. What he's doing is he's throwing a rose kind of at high speed here. And if the rose makes contact with his opponent, um, then he charges up at them and does this multi-hitting move. That does, I mean, how much damage it does, I have no idea. But man, does it look stuck. Look at that animation. I love that animation. I just love, like, his hand gestures. Oh, like that. He looks so badass. I'm actually really hyped to play this character. Look at how acrobatic and... and and fluid he looks. Um, so yeah, uh, this is a situation where we've got a V trigger that's not like a new mode. It's not like a, like something like where Charlie has like a special ability that just allows him to do things that are completely just out of the normal realm of what you do in Street Fighter or, or what the character is capable of doing. This is literally just the move uh, that you can use to extend combos. Uh, we're going to see it again uh, in a minute. Let's... Uh, Let's play this back through at full speed again and uh, and let you enjoy that. Bam, bam. Okay. There's the two hit. There it is again. Uh, again, the two hit um, EX dive uh, knocks the person up into the air and then allows him to land and, and follow it up. And in this case, he just hits them with the rose. And that's the standing version uh, that makes the rose just fly forward. Okay. And here, another big departure... Uh, is Vega becomes the first character to be able to activate V-Trigger in mid-air. In which case, you see, there's the rose. See? That's the rose I'm talking about. You can see a lot better here. Right there. A lot worse than any any Dudley thrown rose. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, it makes contact, and then he, he gets the, the two-hit combo. Uh, coming in, so this will allow. Uh, one thing that's interesting about this is that this will kind of uh, theoretically allow uh, Vega to threaten from a range that he's not normally very threatening from. Like if you're in a situation where um, where you've got a, a Ryu kind of zoning you out with projectiles, um, and they feel like it's safe. Once V Trigger is loaded, it's not necessarily safe because you can just neutral jump and then just look for the fireball to be thrown and then just throw this out. And uh, and get in, get some damage, and score the knockdown. Now, I don't know if this is going to deal enough damage for it to feel significant. Um, again, because the V-Trigger would make it a one-time use thing. Um, here's another use of it that we... Uh, you know, this is the same version we saw before. This is the crouching version. Though here you see it's being used as an anti-air. And, um, you know, anti-air has always been an issue for Vega. Um, he has this, like, flip kick in Street Fighter 4 that's, if you don't do the EX version, it's pretty much almost a useless anti-air, sadly. The EX version is pretty good. Um, we don't see that flip kick here in anywhere in this trailer, so I don't think he has it. Um, but here he, he uses his V-Trigger as an anti-air, and, uh, of course he hits with it, and then, and then gets the automatic, uh, gets the automatic follow-up. So... Um, it looks like this V trigger will be an interesting tool for Vega, for sure. But uh, um, it'll be a combo extender. It can be used as an anti-air, uh, maybe as an anti-zoning tool. It'll have a few different uses, but it's really just down to how much damage it does. Uh, you know, that'll make it um, imposing or not. It is the first V trigger to literally just be a move that you just use. Uh, rather than like a new mode that opens up completely new possibilities for the character. So I don't know if that makes it a little bit bland. Um, again, it'll come down to that damage number and uh, how frequently he's able to use it. And then, of course, at the end, we get to see his super awesome looking critical art. Ugh. Again, just love the animations. I gotta watch that one more time because it was just so beautiful I had to watch it twice. Uh, let's take another look at that critical art. Yeah, there's a juggle. And then, oof. Oh, like a jet. Like a super pretty jet engine. <laughs> anyway, that's all we've got for the breakdown of Vega and Street Fighter V. Thank you very much for watching. And for more on Street Fighter V, you're already in the right place, folks. IGN.